Hi everyone, it's Irene. I have a little project I'd like to share with you today. But before I start, I'd like to um, congratulate my fairy crafty godmother Muriel. Hi Muriel, at Miss Cooper Scoop. Some people have been asking for your YouTube address, Muriel. So here it is for everyone who's been asking. I can't believe no one, you know, someone out there doesn't know who you are. Um, but just in case for those newbies out there, this is her address, and she's just been nominated for the Best Thrifty Crafter. So congratulations, Muriel. So exciting, wonderful to be nominated by your peers this way, and uh, so congratulations. So well-deserved. You put amazing projects out, and we learned so much from you, and I hope you continue doing that and uh, inspiring us. Thank you so much. And on to the next thing, and this comes also from my very crafty godmother. She had gifted me two packets of these goodies filled with all kinds of um, autumn-like leaves and wood pieces. These are just leftovers that I have for some, I have enough for um, maybe one more project to make. So thank you so much, Muriel. I had a lot of fun uh, playing with your goodies. You say you don't think you have an eye for design, but you absolutely do have an eye for design eye for color and you definitely know how to put it all together because it's so worked and let me show you what I did you know how we have a lot of these napkins and we're just you know they come in two have been cut out here but like what do you do with these two you know make a card an altered envelope you can make tags the list is long I'm here to show you something different that you can do and I'm calling it my faux um, faux painted burlap bags yeah, look at that. If you look closely, I don't know if it will show up on camera, but this napkin became this. And if you were, um, I guess if you were looking at it and if you touched it, it feels like it's been painted on. Because when you Mod Podge it, the burlap bag texture comes through the napkin and it takes on this painted look. I mean, if you look closely right here, that looks very much painted super easy to do really pretty so this could be a tag an envelope it could be a goodie bag um, it could be so many things it could be uh, something that you can put on your place setting at Thanksgiving and put your knives and forks in here I've done that before uh, put a little ribbon dress it up and the table is all dressed up ready to go uh, it can be many things but let me just show you what I've done today with my Muriel goodies I made this. Yeah, this is a little burlap bag. I took out the little burlap string. I replaced it with this really pretty ribbon. And these are all the goodies that she had gifted me. Thank you so much, Muriel. I loved doing this. It came together so nicely. And she put this all together in a little kit. I didn't have to think nothing. I just laid it out and start playing. So thank you for providing me a fun time creating without thinking which sometimes is so nice to do. All the work was done for me and it came out really pretty and this looks very much like it's painted and this could be filled with goodies. It could be put on, like I said, a table um, next to your plate with your forks and knives and spoons in here. It could be a goodie uh, sack. Many ways to use this. And here's my other one, a butterfly. This was also a napkin and these are all the parts and pieces that she had gifted me and she actually also cut out these felt leaves right here they're tucked away here I did use them so pretty so soft loved it so I have all kinds of textures here I have the wheat spray oops the felt the wood I have the acrylic here the sparkle of the sticker isn't that beautiful yes it is she's awesome you guys need to go check her out if you haven't done so yet. And please go to Scrap Passion 01 and please put in your vote for Miss Muriel for the Thrifty Crafter. She so deserves it. Very well deserved. So congratulations again, Muriel. And thanks everyone for stopping by and viewing this project. Hope everyone's having a great evening. Please take care. Bye-bye.